Here I am in Kenya. It's my first ever time in this country. First ever time, actually, in Central Africa. It's a little bit different to London. Kenya's home to nearly 50 million people and is renowned for its natural beauty, with Africa's biggest animals roaming its plains. I've got this fella with me, Matt Jones. All right, Matt? We're going to ride Mount Kenya, the highest mountain in Kenya. And you pumped? First time here, man. Bro, let's do this. From Nairobi, we're heading north, across the bone-dry savanna, towards Mount Kenya. And if there's one thing I love, it's a bit of wildlife. Oh, my God. It's a bloody giraffe, mate. Look at him. Zebras. To be out here in Kenya, surrounded by wild animals, it is a privilege. We're sending our bikes ahead and taking the scenic route. A trek through one of Kenya's wildest regions. The Barama anti-poaching squad are going to watch our backs, protect us from the animals and the poachers. Today, Ben Kilgarry is tracking endangered black rhinos. Keep our eyes open, keep our voices down. If you come, like, chatting, you know, loud, they can hear you. And uh, what you expect is a charge. Yeah. A what? So, charge? Yeah, they will really? just come straight to you, yeah. Is that how they protect themselves? Yes. They just run yes. at you as hard it's, as they can? It's all self-defence, yeah. All right, you guys ready? Just keep still. Holy You can actually see. It's oh, actually... my God. Can you see right there? Yeah, yeah. Let's just keep still, yeah? Oh, my God, it's just all muscle and horn. It's bigger than a truck. Yeah, it's been massive. massive. In the last decade, poachers have killed over 200 rhinos, wreaking havoc on Kenya's wildlife. What's hard to believe is that anyone, yeah. anyone would arm something like that, isn't it? Look at it. It's one of the most incredible animals on Earth. Yeah. I can't believe there's only 2,000 left in the whole yeah. world. If we're dealing with that small number, and still we have poaching cases going on. We might wipe out the whole population. Oh, no. He's coming this way. Yeah. He's pretty frightened. Being stood here face to face with a rhino. So it's definitely took an interest in us. Keep still. He's, he's looking at us. Is he going to charge us? What do we do if it charges? He looks pissed off a bit. I think we better start heading back. Yeah, yeah, we just start better head, heading back, yeah. Get out so, there, so, dinner. Let's go, yes? Let's move it, yeah? That was sick. With the sun setting, it's time to bed down for the night. Is this good? Yeah. I've never slept out in the wild like this before. On top of the hill for safety. Good view of all the animals attacking us from all sides. It does feel seriously exposed. I am worried about camping out, to be honest. We've got the rangers for protection, but there's lots of lions, lots of rhinos. We know that for a fact, and a couple of rangers, as much as they're going to be a good deterrent, if stuff does go wrong, we're up against it, aren't we? Well, it's great to be hanging out with this anti-poaching unit. I mean, you know, this is real. This is what they do every night of the week. They're out here, armed up to the nines, you know, in a real fight against poachers. It's a bit unnerving because um, there is always a fear, despite being told how safe it is, that, you know, we have got an armed guard that, like, elephants could come through and, I don't know, there's lions out there, everything you can think of from the Jungle Book is in this area. One precaution I have taken, my bike is directly outside the tent door. So if I hear anything in the night, I'm just going to pedal off. Oh. 
We survived a night in African paradise, bro. I don't want to get up yet. It's time to ride our bikes through the landscape I've been dreaming of. This is our man who's going to show us round and hopefully uh, not let us ride into any elephants. Hello, mate. Hi, guys. I'm Patrick. How are you? I'm Rob. Nice to meet you, bro. You all right? Yeah, welcome in Burana. What's the top speed of an elephant or a rhino? Can we outride them if they do? No, can never. What, they'll get us? Yeah, they are very fast. If you see an animal, don't panic. OK. So yeah. we see an animal, we stay on the bike, keep pedalling, don't yeah. get off. Come on, and let's do it. Fine, let's yeah. get in amongst the wildlife. You know, lions take the weakest and slowest rider. Yeah. Yeah, man! Monkeys over there, a rhino over there, this unbelievable set and this huge savanna, nothing but wild animals that don't exist anywhere else on the planet, all in this region here, it's unbelievable. And then of course, there is Mount Kenya, rising up above it all, and that is where we're gonna go and ride our bikes. across the scorched African plains of the Lycipia Plateau to the super steep, super rocky slopes of Mount Kenya. Oh, wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's just mental, isn't it? It's just like endless like, wildlife. This is actually where they live. Made it to the foot of the 5,200 metre mountain. All right, let's get these bikes loaded up. But our trailhead is high and remote. The only way we're going to make it up there is by chopper. Here we go, lads, we're off. Chopper squad, bro. We're skimming the top of the bushes. Oh, my God, bro. Only a handful of mountain bikers have ever tried to ride Mount Kenya. Wow. Oh, my God, mate. Here we go. Getting up towards the top of Mount Kenya. It's incredible. Oh, my goodness. Is that the peak? I've always wanted to ride Mount Kenya, and now we're about to do it, mate. This is going to be something special. straight down a nearly vertical scree slope. Well, let's do it. We need to be extra careful on the loose rocks. If we come off now, there's nowhere for the chopper to land. We're dropping into Mount Kenya. Right, Rob? Yeah, man. It's literally like being on Mars or something. This is hard riding, isn't it? It's outrageous. It's a long 
Song to the left. The ground's loose. Hard, isn't it? Go real steady, bro. Oh, it's so steep, mate. It's not a bicycle, it's a sledge. There's rocks everywhere, bro. Oh! Yes, bro. That was incredible. Look what we just rode down. <sighs> Steepest riding I've ever done. Feels a bit nicer down here, doesn't it? Nearly vertical, no grip, no oxygen. And that ain't a place many mountain bikers have ever been. You could tell that from riding it.